Yo, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Automatic Works. And our topic for today is about defective input shop speed sensor and output shop speed sensor. What happen when your input shop speed sensor and output shop speed sensor is defective? Okay? So this is a symptoms that I tell you that did this happen in your car when your bad or failing uh, ISS or OSS uh, se sensor. Do your car experience shaky or wobbly when you put cruise control on drive or when you put the cruise control on reverse? Do your car experience hard to drive fast when you put your cruise control on drive position? Why well, this is the symptoms, common symptoms of defective ISS and OSS. Do your car experience that is hard to drive on uphill? Okay, so this is a symptoms also. If you experience these symptoms, your car is in a big trouble. Okay, what is a trouble this is? Is the trouble came from your automatic transmission. Okay, many cars today is driving, uh, driving on automatic transmission okay how to troubleshoot this type of problem okay i will teach you i will give you an idea i will give you a tip on how to troubleshoot like this first you need to scan your car to find out the dtc or the diagnostic trouble codes okay so we rely on diagnostic trouble codes what will pointing on in the scanning okay if the scanner pointing the code of iss or input shop speed sensor or if the scanner pointing the output shop speed sensor you need to check the iss and the oss how to check okay uh, first check the wirings okay Check the visible and the physical of wirings if there is a cut or if there is a ground into body. Okay, you need to check. Next, check the wiring connection socket. Okay, the socket uh, between the sensor and socket, check if there is a dirt or there is a rust. Okay, so and then after this, after you checking up. Please clean the ISS, okay? You need to pull it up, okay? You need to pull it out. And then clean the ISS or input shop speed sensor and clean the output speed sensor. And then after you clean, you need to put it back again, okay? And then visual check the sensor. You need to check the sensor uh, if there is a if there is a dirty or there is a um, rust if there is a burn okay you need to check this because the ISE sensor and OSE sensor is a Hall effect sensor okay magnet type okay there is a magnet inside when your transmission reluctor tip is uh, circulating or going drive or reverse uh, the iss and the oss were measuring the ohms and then reported it into the tcm and then ecu and then your car is uh, driving uh, driving very well and then your car is driving good okay after you clean you need to put it back okay check your car ETF label you need to check your car ETF label if there is a need to uh, repel or there is a, if there is a pull okay need to get the dipstick and then check the tip if there is a pull on the dipstick and then this kind of trouble this kind of trouble is shown on CBT transmission CBT or sedan cars okay this type of trouble is shown on sedan cars or CBT engine transmission. Okay. When you find out your ISS and OSS is good and then your car ETF is on label. 
Okay? When you after checking the ISS, OSS, and then the ATF level, then you find out this is good, but the problem is there and not gone after you troubleshoot and check up. You need to your car problem is going inside into your engine control unit or ECU or computer box. Okay? This time, you need to call your trusted uh, car technician to check up and evaluate your car. Okay? Don't do DIY if the problem is internal. Okay? To help your, to help to solve your problem. I have a, a short video here. Uh, you can watch this video to have an idea. This car is a Hyundai Accent 2017 automatic transmission CBT engine. And I found it the problem on the ISS. Okay. After I replace the defective sensor, the defective ISS, the problem is gone. Okay. Uh, the problem is uh, the ISS if is full of water inside that that's why the is is going grounded okay and the car now is on normal situation is she can drive past she can uphill easily okay no no any problem so you can watch this video so this is a short clip in the short film uh, that i encounter and troubleshoot uh, this part this video, this car, is the problem I found is on ISS speed sensor based on my scanning. Okay? So, you guys, please watch the video. Automatic works. Pero sa transmission, meron po siyang dalawa. So, ito po yung nagiging code niya. P0721. Sa so, output sensor, speed sensor range performance. Tapos yung isa, permanent output sensor no signal. Okay? So, hindi natin i-delete. So, nabaklas ko na sa, ano, nabaklas ko na sa taas, dito sa likod, hindi. Oh, aray, puta, may nasakit. Yan, baklas. Bench test na ako dito, mga sir. Bench test na po tayo dyan. Ito, uh, tinesting ko na, kinuhanan ko ng ohms, kilo ohms, mega ohms dyan dito. Tapos, itong gamit ko yung dalawa. Yan, tapos, nilagyan ko na itong mag magnet sa pick, uh, sa, ano, pick up niya. Um, abnormal yung reading so tingnan ko yung isa ko anong reading nun bago ko siya uh, ikabit dun sa isang accent so automatic transmission to na accent tingnan natin kung mapapagana natin mga sir yun nag bench test ako yung isa uh, yung sa hindi gumagana binasahan ko yun may reading siya okay 5.61 tapos balikta rin ko so yun nakabaliktad na same may reading ulit Okay, so susubukan ko yung isa sa baliktaran. Yon, yung gumagana mga sir, yon, bench test ulit. Yan nakatusok yan sa loob, pero wala siyang reading. Okay, 00, mas bi 00. So wala siyang reading, ayan, nakatap na yan sa loob, wala reading. Ngayon baliktarin natin mga sir kung may reading ba siya. So yan nakabaliktad na po siya. Ay, ayo ayo lumapat. Yan. Ay, 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 dumikit ka yan. Yan, nakabaliktad na po siya. So, may, read, may reading na po siya. Uh, mega ohms, milli ohms yan. 14. Yan, yan. Nag-reading pa rin tuloy-tuloy. Okay, so, kabit namin to. Ito yung gumagana. Yung isang hindi. So, sorted. Ito, susubukan namin kung uh, papalo siya ito sa kabila. Uh, automatic work. So, tapos na nakabit lahat. Yung sa pangharap. Naikabit ko na lahat So testingin lang natin kung nandito pa rin yung code nya Kasi marami akong binunot dito Siguro nga meron to Baka marami din So babasahin lang natin ulit okay. Nakabukas na yung engine Okay Scan tayo So nag bench test naman ako kanina sa pinalitan So may nakitang discrepancy Red code Sa engine tayo wala sa engine, okay? Dapat dito sa transmission meron to. So dalawa P2 to output sensor no signal. Ah, isa na lang. So kanina dalawa to. Okay? So may reading na po yung output, 'yan. Tapos may buwelo na si Sir. 
Tapos umaangat na yung ano, speedometer. Yun. Kanina hindi umaangat. Tapos uh, malamya yung takbo. Tapos ito may reading na. Hindi man sila pareho pero may reading na. So kuhanan lang namin ng test drive para makita. Okay. Hyundai Accent yun, 2017 na oh. Okay. Tapos pitik mo sa kaliwa ka, ka, kanan sir. Yun may dos na. Yun. Meron na siya no. Okay. Automatic works. Thank you. I know you watched the video Paul. So that is the Hyundai Accent 2017 automatic transmission. So I found out the ISS is defective. So uh, that's why when you see I bench test the sensor and then I replace it in new one. Okay. So thank you guys. Uh, thank you for watching Automatic Works.